Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. What is a web application firewall and how does it work? That is the topic of today's lecture. A web application firewall, also known as WAF, is a specialized security solution designed to monitor, filter and safeguard HTTP and HTTPS traffic between a web application and the internet. It works at the application layer, layer 7 of the OSI model and is specifically developed to prevent attacks such as cross-site scripting, SQL injection and cookie poisoning targeting web applications. Web application firewalls are trained to detect and protect against dangerous security flaws that are most common within web traffic. This makes them ideal for online businesses that provide products and services over the internet such as retailers, healthcare, banks and social media which need to protect sensitive data from unauthorized access. Ok now let's see how does a web application firewall work. As I said earlier, a web application firewall protects web applications by filtering, monitoring and blocking any malicious traffic traveling to the web application and prevents any unauthorized data from leaving the app. It does this by following a set of rules often called policies that help determine what traffic is malicious and what traffic is safe. Just as a proxy server acts as an intermediary to protect the identity of a client, a web application firewall works in similar fashion but in the reverse, called a reverse proxy, acting as an intermediary that protects the web application server from a potentially malicious client. Policies can be customized to meet the unique needs of web applications. Although many web application firewalls require you update the policies regularly to address new vulnerabilities, advances in machine learning enable some web application firewalls to update automatically. This automation is becoming more critical as the threat landscape continues to grow. Reverse proxies which sit between clients and backend servers can also be used to cache responses from backend servers. This can improve web application performance by reducing responses time for frequently accessed resources and easing the load on backend servers. Cached responses can be served more quickly than dynamically generated responses from backend servers. Web Application Firewall Security Models Web application firewalls can use a positive or negative security model or a combination of both. Positive security model works based on an allow list that filters traffic according to a list of permitted elements. Anything not on the list is blocked. This is like the bouncer at an exclusive party. He only admits people who are on the list. Negative security model operates based on a block list that only blocks specific items anything not on the list is allowed. Think of a block list firewall as a club bouncer instructed to deny entry to guests who don't meet the dress code. This model is easier to implement but it cannot guarantee that all threats are addressed. It is also requires maintaining a potentially long list of malicious signatures. The level of security depends on the number of restrictions implemented. Both block list and allow list have their advantages and drawbacks, which is why many web application firewalls offer a hybrid security model, which implements both. Ok now the most important part of the lecture. A web application firewall can be deployed in three ways. It all depends on where your applications are stored. Network based web application firewall, usually hardware based and can reduce latency because it is installed locally on premises using a dedicated appliance. However, this is the most expensive type of web application firewall and requires storing and maintaining physical equipment. Host based web application firewall can be fully integrated into the software of an application. This option is cheaper than network based web application firewalls and is more customizable. But it consumes extensive local server resources is complex to implement and can be expensive to maintain. The machine used 
to run a host based web application firewall often needs to be hardened and customized which can take time and be costly cloud based web application firewall it is an affordable easily implemented solution which typically does not require an upfront investment with users paying a monthly or annual security as a service subscription a cloud based web application firewall can be regularly updated at no extra cost however since you rely on a third party to manage your web application firewall it is important to ensure cloud based web application firewalls have sufficient customization options to match your organization's business rules okay now the bottom line is by deploying a web application firewall in front of a web application a shield is placed between the web application and the internet all right so with that this brings me to the end of my topic thanks for watching please make sure you hit the subscribe button